hello, Sergio and Homer. How are you? How are you doing? Good, good. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be such a fun video. I can hardly wait to show it to everyone. Have you ever been to a buffet where there were so many amazing choices you didn't know where to start? That was what it was like for me from the moment I approached Henry's Upholstery in La Havre. Everywhere I looked, there were classic or soon to be classic cars being worked on. And I love old cars from the era I grew up in. In this video, Sergio explains how he turned a 1965 VW Bug into a tiny camper with a bedroom and kitchen. So come on and see for yourself. But stay tuned to the very end because Sergio shares the unique window he made for this little camper. Well, hello, Sergio and Homer. Hello there. Thank you so much. I, I just can't keep the joy out of my voice. I'm so excited to do this video. Now, you took and fabricated a camper out of a Volkswagen Bug. What year is this? 65, 1965 Volkswagen Bug. So basically you chopped and pieced and did everything? We, we cut it, stretched it, chopped it. You can see it's, it's, it's a more narrow. I'm still working on the window. Okay. Um, but in order to get the lines right, we had to chop it. Okay. And, and to, in, to install the two front fenders in the front. Okay. That's how we did this dome. Now you also, I've seen you have an awning that you specially built that goes on yes. here, custom built awning. Yes. Maybe another time we'll show that. And yeah. here you have a box, a, um, a storage box. All our, our, our supplies and, and, and uh, the tie downs and cleaning. Uh, now, now what are you pulling this on? Right now we're pulling it with my little van that's over there. Okay. But I'm building a bus to match. This. Oh, you're building a bus to match this? Yes. Oh my goodness, I've got to do a tour of that when it comes. Yes. Now, can you tell me the inside? Tell me what you did on the inside. On the inside, we have a a, a little Homer. Yeah, a little Homer. So we have a cooler. To now, match. you, where did you find the cooler to match? Uh, you know what? I found it and and I scuffed it all up. And when it when the car went to paint, I had them paint paint it. Okay painted and the, the, I did the logos and, and all that and the moldings. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the bed here. Okay so this is a custom mattress that I I built for this and upholstered. Hold on wait a minute you built the mattress yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes because there's no way to get a mattress with this cut out and then it narrows and gets wider in the back. I should add that you are the owner of Henry's upholstery in La Habra, so that's why you have the expertise to we be have, able to match. We have storage under the vehicle. Oh wow! And and uh, that's where my awning and umbrella and my, and floor mat and and my blue flamingo is in here. <laughs> Your blue flamingo, okay. <laughs> that matches the paint job. The comforter, I see. Is that custom made too? Yes, yes, because it has to match the 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 mattress. So we 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 sold it in order for it to match. All right, and, and it stays in place. Now, what kind of floor is that underneath? That is a hardwood floor that that I've made for it. Okay. okay. Then I see over here you've got some electrical components, and you have a this little. This is TV. all my my master switch, and then it turns on all the lights. It's different set of lights. My okay. my lamps, and okay. my TV. Now that's a tiny little TV. What size is that? That is a I believe it's a, t a ten inch TV. Oh my goodness! Is it a DC TV? Yes. Okay. And. Um, then I have a fan, a fan that's here, and all my towels and toiletries are here. And then I see, let me move over and I'll look, show everyone the back. Oh my goodness, look at the lamps. Did you make the lamps? Yes. Oh my goodness. And you've got the cutouts back there. And, they, and being in such a small car, uh -huh. the lamps are from a lampshade. They're full lampshades, but I had to cut them in half. Oh my in goodness. order to embed them in, so they wouldn't be in the way. Okay. And they do turn on. You can see that one's on. Oh yeah, it's I like do. a night light at night. They're perfect night lights. Okay. Light. And I see that Homer fits here just perfectly. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> and you actually take this out and camp with it and go places in this. Yes. 
Oh my goodness. I camp in it once a month, maybe <laughs> twice a month. Okay. And I do sleep in it. And you can tell. Oh, and, oh yeah, your feet. And my feet are fully stretched. They are fully stretched. And I'm all the way to the back. Wow, and there's room on there's the side. Of, there's plenty of room still. Yeah, you got plenty of headroom. Yeah, this is my blankets. And... Oh my goodness. And room for Homer too. Come on, Homer. Come on. <laughs> the fearsome duo. Oh my goodness. Now let's see how you get out. Is it easy to get out of? Let's go outside. Okay, yeah, so that's no pro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll show you the kitchen. Okay, we'll go over and look at the kitchen. I have a full functioning kitchen. I have a, a, uh, a sink with running water. Now, what's that sink hooked up to? It's to a pump and a five gallon uh, water tank, and I'll show you that. Okay. And then the, my stove, my, everything works in the stove. I don't know if you can see the flame. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the gas one, butane. And then a uh, little toaster oven and the coffee maker. I love those combination toaster of a coffee so maker. When when I show you that everything is functional, you can see I have a water tank, a battery, propane. What kind of battery do you have? I have a, a, a RV battery. Okay, and do you have solar on this? No. Do you think you're going to add solar? Oh, I, I will be adding it as, as a side uh, to the side of the vehicle. Okay, so Not a separate, yeah, like I a did, solar panel. Yeah, it won't look good on this car. Or a solar suitcase or something. Yes, yes okay. that's what we're going to do. Wow. And now you even have the little lamps that match. Yes. Now tell us a little bit. You have an upholstery shop mm -hmm. in the harbor and you do amazing, amazing work. I'm actually going to do another video on some of your remodels and your, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here uh, about seven years. Okay. But and I've been in business with Henry's for 20 Two years now and from what you're telling me you've got work up the wazoo <laughs> yes we do and it's basically for the most part from referrals yes, yes. oh my god advertise anything other than we do some uh, instagram postings and stuff like that and word of mouth mostly okay well sergio thank you so very much this is this is one of the most fun interviews i have done and this tour is just beyond amazing. And we're gonna, I'm gonna stick around and in a second video actually, I'm gonna show some of your products that you have are in the process rather of remodeling. And then we're gonna show actually some of Homer's custom built cars for his size, pint size cars for Homer. Thanks again, Sergio. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I do see here, Sergio, that the window isn't quite done, and you were telling me you have a unique design for that? Yes, it, it'll, it'll have a, a window that I'm building right now. Okay. And, that's the, and this will be all polished, but that's, that's the frame. This is the actual window. Okay. And it's gonna vent up like this. Oh my goodness. And you said you were gonna paint it turquoise? The glass will be, the glass will be tinted in turquoise. Oh my goodness, let me just look at that from back here. And can you open it up? I just want to see it opened up again. How cool is that? Next time we'll have to come and see your awning on it too. Yes. Now you built that rack on top also? Yes. Oh my goodness. I go originally purchased it, but I had to modify it because it okay. was different. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, we will be back and see more.